what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel um, in this video I am gonna be detailing this Honda Civic um, I want to say it's a it's fairly new uh, let's see what year is this thing this is a 2014 Honda Civic uh, it's a family member of ours He's, we're going to be trading some work. I'm going to detail his car. He's going to come do some work to the house for me. So, nothing wrong with that. It's got this beautiful white. I wouldn't say it's a pearl, but it's, it's a beautiful white. There's really, really not that many imperfections in the paint. Um, so, I'm not going to be doing any polishing on it. I'm just going to do a nice cleanup. I'm going to decontaminate it. I'm going to strip wash it. Get it cleaned up, and I'm going to apply... Um, Griot's Garage Liquid Gloss Poly Wax, one of my favorite sealants. Um, let's give you guys a quick walk around so you guys can see the befores. Take you guys with me on my little detailing journey. Not too bad, it is dirty. It's got some bugs on the front. Interior wise, um, it's really not that bad. Dashboard's a little dusty. Center console is a little dusty. I don't know if you guys are catching that. Oh yeah, there you go, you can see it. Back isn't too bad, just needs to be vacuumed. I'm gonna clean up and... Apply some UV protection. Not bad, I really don't think anybody sits in the back seats of this, so. But yeah. Give me guys a quick overview of the car. I'm gonna be using. I just picked this up at Walmart for seven, like seven dollars and sixty-nine cents or some something, something like that. Seven ninety-five, seven sixty-five. Uh, vehicle and boat. Um, I'm not looking to get max suds out of it. I am gonna put it in the soap shooter. Uh, but yeah, this is. Uh, I just want to strip the any kind of waxes or sealants that are on it. And I heard that stuff does awesome. So that's what we're going to be using. Then we're going to go ahead and clay it, decontaminate it chemically and with the clay mitt. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this thing looking nice. All right. So I got the wheels done. They look awesome. The tires are much cleaner than they were. And I've got one more to go. I just kind of want to take you guys through the process of, of how I clean a wheel and fender well. I got my little detail cart set up. Man, this thing makes it so much easier. Everything you, everything you need in, in hand's reach. So, first thing I do is, if you're new to my channel, you know I love aerosol super clean. So what I'll do is I'll get up in here in the fender wheels. Why I like it is because it cleans. And you can just let it kind of dwell there and you spray it all around on the fenders just like so just like that get up there if you can then I'll come around and I'll hit my tires like so while the tire is soaking, I'll take my fender brush and I'll come in here and just clean up these fenders a little bit. Ain't gotta go too extreme, wherever you can reach with the brush. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. I know I say that all the time, but I'm trying to give you guys the best angles. All right. Now that that's clean, now you can see the tire is just filthy. So I'll come in here and scrub this tire down. Oh yeah, I don't think these tires have ever been clean. I've had to do the other ones three to four times. 
and then I will grab my power washer. Like so, like I said, I had to do these tires multiple times. So we're gonna do these tires again, hit it with another pass. Might have to do a third pass too. You want the foam to stay white while you scrub. My apologies for a long video, but I'll tell you guys how I go through cleaning the wheel. Oh, that stuff is nasty. now that I got the tire clean sorry guys I had to go over it five times so I didn't want you guys to sit there and watch me go over it five times uh, but it took five times for the foam to stay white that's how filthy these tires were um, they were they've never been cleaned but they're definitely clean now I've never washed this vehicle so who knows maybe they'll want me to maintain it for them uh, for instance on my Honda I only have to go over it one time with the super clean brush it spray it it's good because I, I wash that thing at least once every 10 days and I maintain it so next I got my Meguiar's wheel brightener uh, diluted four to one I start by spraying down the barrels Let that soak in there just for about 30 seconds. I got my little easy detail brush. I can say that these things are awesome, but man, when you pull it out of the wheel, it flings stuff all over you. Look at that. And I don't like that. So I kind of try to stay to the side and then as I pull it out, I pull it out away from me, but still it flings all over you. I do not like that about this brush. Uh, and then I'll get in here and quickly, I'm not trying to make it perfect, I'm just kind of scrub down the barrels real quick. Some of the other wheels, there were still a couple spots where, see, look at that, flings all over you no matter what you do. But yeah, there's still a couple spots I couldn't get. I'm fine with that. I'm not going for perfection. Neither are they. I said he's coming to do some work on the house for us so I said hey why not trade it's nice out there's some clouds so I get a break from the Sun every once in a while which is nice sorry for the horrible camera work guys I will try to work on that as I go through this video What's up, sweetheart? Now that I got those all rinsed off, I'll go ahead and spray the wheel down. Oh, we're over here watching sharks. Shark roller coasters. Oh no. All right. And then I'll use my little microfiber wand, cheap little thing. And I'll, I use this to kind of get in the spokes like this. Like so. Spots I can't really reach 
ba boom, ba boom, pow pow. Like so. Then I'll grab my little detail brush here. Big squirt. Squirt it down one more time. You don't want it to dry. Get in here with my lug nuts. Clean around the lug nuts. Get around the emblem. This Meguiar's wheel brightener is by far my favorite wheel cleaner. Yeah, you gotta be careful, but as long as you're not using it on, I believe it's polished aluminum, anodized aluminum, you'll be all right. And you can dilute it more than four to one. You know, you can do 10 to one if you want. I don't recall where it is, I didn't get. There we go. Come in here. That's pretty much it, guys. All right, so our next step now that we got it in the garage is gonna be to clay it. Or yep. I'm actually gonna be using my Nano Skin Mitt. Uh, I didn't want to use it with the Purple Power you know, the vehicle and boat wash because I didn't feel like it had that much lubricity, so I didn't want to risk it. I'm gonna pass the camera off to my lovely camera girl over here, and she's gonna get this while I show you guys a quick little demonstration. I'm gonna be using Rio's Garage Speed Shine with the Speed Shine Cloths, and let me tell you, these Speed Shine Cloths are awesome, I mean, you think one rag's not that big, but you it, it holds a lot of speed shine. So it picks it up really quick. And to me, that's a plus. I think you should show them how big it is. It's small. Not that big. It's small, but it's a good one. It is a very good cloth. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But it's, it's lightly contaminated, nothing major. Normally I would use my clay, but I gotta get this done in a fashionably manner. The bar? Because we got some tacos to make later. Yum! Pay attention when you're... <laughs> You're recording. You're getting me distracted with the taco talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just wipe it down. And there you go. Yep. You got a smooth panel. Honey. Very. I'm going to go ahead and finish up doing the rest of the car. I've only done the hood and the fender so far, so I'm going to finish up doing the rest and, uh, Use my paint prep, I'm gonna wipe it all down, and then we are gonna apply the wax. All right, so I pretty much got all the way around the car. Uh, like I said, it wasn't too bad, uh, but when I got to the bumper, I was noticing little orange spots in the bumper. So it's the only, where, the only place on the car I saw them. Check that out. Hopefully you guys are seeing it. So I figured, all right, let me back it out. Hopefully you guys are catching that. A bunch of metal on the paint. It's only on the rear bumper though, so he might have the rear parked towards stuff like that. But yeah. I go to Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner. It's like nine bucks. Oh yeah, it's starting to react good now. Well, I'm gonna get this bumper. I'm gonna let it sit for, I don't know, five minutes or so as long as the sun isn't too bad. And, uh, rinse it off and then dry it and keep on keeping on. All right, so here I am on the inside. Like I said, it's really not that dirty. It's mainly dusty. Uh, what I like to do before I start vacuuming uh, the inside um, is I'll take my little detail brush and I'll brush 
you know, just the little areas where dust and stuff settles. That way, when it falls onto the floor, you can vacuum it up. Yep. So it's really not that bad. We're gonna wipe it down. This door panel needs a little bit of love. But yeah, today I'm using my Griot's interior detailer and cleaner. Not in that order, of course, you use your interior cleaner. And then uh, after you use your interior cleaner, you're gonna wanna apply your detailer that has the UV protection in it. Some cleaners have it in the cleaner, but Griot's, nope. You wanna use your interior cleaner and then follow it up with a detailer. Um, I, the one reason why I love this stuff, man, is it leaves, I don't know if you can see it, but the steering wheel is shiny right now and that's all the oils and stuff coming from your body that gets stuck on the wheel so when you clean it it leaves it leaves it not shiny and that's what i love about the griots um you know some people want their dashes and interiors like with a sheen to it but i don't like that it almost looks like an oily you can kind of see here it's dry but it's got like a i don't want to say armor all it feels oily so we're gonna get rid of all that. How I do that is I take my Griot's interior cleaner and I'll give it a couple squirts on there. I'll spray it directly on the panel. Normally I don't do that, but it's all right. I'll also spray a little bit in my brush. So I had to do that off camera. We'll get in here. What I like about the Griots too is, let me get a little more in my brush. Is this Griots, it foams up nicely. Makes you, lets you know you're cleaning. See that? You wanna get that foam. Cause that foam is where the dirt fills up. And then you wipe it down. Oh, man, I forgot to grab a microfiber slacker over here. Move to my stool. Yeah, I'm in the garage, so you ain't got to worry about it drying. And just come in here and wipe it down. Move on to the next area. Alright everybody, well, here's the finished product, which I can get it out in the sun, but this will have to do. Very happy with the results. Give you guys a little walk around. Check out the interior. Hopefully you guys can get a good view turned out really good jammed it up Rear wasn't too bad to begin with, just a quick wipe down. So what I did was I started with the Purple Power vehicle and boat wash, strip washed it. Um, I cleaned the wheels with my Meguiar's wheel brightener. I did the clean the tires and the fender wells with my Aerosol Super Clean. I then pulled it in the garage and then I clayed it with my nano skin clay towel and my Griot's Garage Speed Shine. And then I went around, wiped it down with the paint prep. Uh, I also hit the rear bumper with the Meguiar's Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner. Get rid of some of the uh, iron that was embedded in the rear, the rear of the car. Um, at the same, you know, at the same time, while I was playing, I noticed that I had to back it out, spray the whole rear bumper, 
uh, let it sit for a while, rinse it back off, dry it off. Went around the whole car with my Rust-Oleum grease and wax remover. And uh, after that, went ahead and applied the Rio's Garage Liquid Gloss Poly Wax. Is their synthetic sealant. It is one of my favorites. I wish I had some sunlight to shine on it, but this thing is shining. It just really brought out the pop in the, the paint. And on the interior, I use my Rio's Garage interior cleaner and interior detailer. Did a fantastic job. Wasn't too filthy. The most dirty part was down here by the driver's excuse me, the driver's seat by the kick panel. Wiped it down. The driver's door panel was obviously the worst. So I, I used my little brush on the driver door and on spots that were really dirty, on spots that you didn't really need it. Just kind of sprayed it in the towel. Wiped it all down and it worked. I did use the brush on the wheel. It was really shiny. Now it's nice and dull. That's what you like to see. And then I followed it up with the Griot's Garage interior detailer. Then I wiped the windows down with the window cleaner from Griot's Garage. And then I hit the outside with the Best of Show spray wax on the windows just to give it a little protection. But yeah, very, very, very happy. Uh, Uncle Dave's really, really happy. It looks awesome. Sorry if this is a long video, guys, but uh, this thing looks great. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Everyone that sits here and watches this stuff, I really appreciate you guys, man. I know there's plenty of other things that you guys can be doing with your time. Instead, you decide to watch a detailing video, which I find myself doing too, and it's all part of the community. So just want to say thank you, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video.